Obrador appears to be the front runner in the polls. Do you think it's going to be third time lucky for him? And if so, why? Well, according to the latest polls, uh, he has the support of around 49% uh, uh, of uh, the people who were surveyed. And uh, in the last uh, elections, at least in the last uh, three or four elections in Mexico, there is, this is, uh, he has an advantage of around uh, uh, two to one to his closest uh, opponent, that is uh, Ricardo Anaya. Just statistically, the deviation uh, uh, of these uh, polls almost uh, assure him uh, as uh, uh, the victor in this uh, election. What do you think it is about Obrador that appeals to voters? Well, he um, he has um, he's a very savvy politician, a professional politician, and uh, he has uh, the ability or has had the ability to uh, just to channel the anger of uh, the Mexican public, of the Mexican people, uh, with the current government. Uh, President Peña Nieto's administration has been one of the most corrupt in uh, the history of uh, con contemporary history of Mexico. There are currently around uh, 14 governors. Uh, Mexico is a federal system divided in states, so 14 governors, that's almost uh, half of the states that uh, uh, had their governors uh, uh, indicted or investigated for corruption. And this has happened under Peña Nieto's uh, watch. And uh, the violence has, uh, has soared. Just last year, there were uh, 29,000 murders uh, in Mexico because of uh, uh, the war on drugs. So uh, both corruption and violence have fed up the Mexican public, and now they have, uh, uh, they have a chance to express their discontent towards the current uh, government. Uh, you have practiced law in Mexico, so you, you must have an idea of the, uh, the corruption, I guess, that's being fought there. How big of an issue is that for voters? You did mention it just there, but give us your insider's view on how big of an issue this is for the country. It is indeed a, a, a big issue. Is to, um, when uh, the PRI, the party that is uh, uh, currently in government, came back to office in 2012, the PRI was a party that was in office for 70 years in Mexico. Then there was a brief period, two uh, terms that transpired under the government of the Conservative National Action Party. And uh, uh, then in 2012, the PRI came back to government. When the PRI came back to government, uh, there was an expectation that the violence that began uh, in 2006, when President Calderon launched the war against drugs, will be controlled. And this uh, uh, didn't ha uh, happen. And not only this, but uh, the PRI returned to government uh, with the old ideas about uh, uh, corruption and thinking about uh, uh, just public money as some sort of personal gain. What they didn't uh, uh, expect was that they weren't, uh, were going to meet a civil society that is much more active, very vigilant. And this is why uh, it seems that Mexico has become a more corrupt country. And yet, uh, all the indictments against the governors uh, and uh, uh, different uh, uh, politicians and public uh, officials are speaking, are uh, evidencing a civil society that is very active and very vigilant.